Ah, uh, you have such a simple life, don't you? Just walk around, eat grass, make babies. Very simple. I kind of envy you in a way. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival. I have done some improvements um, off camera. Uh, I have changed the windows on the bottom floor because I thought it would make sense that it matches that side. I lowered this part of the house a little bit because I thought it would give us a little bit more space to play with. I put these furnaces in here and I moved the bed upstairs. But this bed definitely has to be a red bed. So we're going to fix that. Oh, and I have uh, sorted my items into kind of a sensible arrangement. So in this episode, uh, we are going to finally go into the nether and hopefully find another fortress as well. And probably do a little bit of building. We do need leather and food. So I will most likely be making a cow farm in the form of just a simple cow crusher. So let's get to it. Now I will need a few flowers because every first Minecraft bed has to be red. This is an unspoken rule, uh, but I am letting you know. And done. Yes, much better. Uh, also, I would really like to change all of this birch into spruce planks. I think that would look much nicer. And maybe even the beams should be spruce beams. I am not a fan of the birch. I think this house is a little bit too bright. Uh, so we will likely fix that as well in this episode. Now, where should I put this cow crusher? I think I might just put it next to the a uh, little temporary sheep farm I have here. All right, let's make it look uh, pretty simple. Uh, I kind of have a design in my mind that I've used many times and I kind of feel like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we are going to go for the same design here. Chest at the front, some stone bricks, and then the hoppers, which will be collecting our uh, leather and meat and a fence post. Oh, no, we'll have to wait until the cows are actually in there. Now, where can I find a cow? Let's see. Oh, looks like I found both spruce wood and a village. I actually really like these, um, what are they, taiga villages? Let's see, oh, sweet berries and some emeralds and potatoes. These are our first potatoes. Now, I will definitely be coming back for you guys. Let's see, what do you have? Nothing interesting. And let's steal their bell. You know, I'm actually getting these empty maps uh, from this village, so I feel like I might as well fill one up. And we have a cartography table here already and some paper. This is some pretty convenient loot that I got. So let's max out this map, and that's the maxed out one. We are on the eastern edge of the map. I did manage to get some spruce wood, so hopefully we can finish up our base with the actual nice looking wood type instead of the birch wood. Now don't get me wrong, I do like the birch wood as well, uh, but I feel like in my house, spruce wood will do a fair bit better. Oh. And there's the cow. Is it just the one? Yeah, looks like there's only one here. But we will have to get this one for now. And it is nighttime now. Kind of surprising just how close the village was to my house. That'll make it quite easy to transport them uh, for when I want to make my own mini village uh, for trading. That'll be quite useful. Get in there. Yep, there we go. Just need to find another one. Something I wanted to mention is that all of my videos are now available on Library, uh, or also known as Odyssey. Uh, Library is kind of just the network uh, with all the videos, and Odyssey is the website where you can watch them. I will leave a link to my channel down in the description. One of you guys actually already subscribed on there, so shout out to whoever that was. Uh, but yeah, uh, I am quite excited to have my videos on there now as well. It is kind of like YouTube, but uh, I would say it's a lot more free uh, in the sense of freedom. Library is a kind of open source uh, project that 
anybody can implement their own website for, which makes uh, censorship, which happens quite a lot on YouTube, unfortunately, a lot less uh, common on uh, library or slash Odyssey. So Odyssey is just one implementation uh, of the same thing, kind of. Just like how you have the torrent technology and then there are many different torrent clients. Uh, so library is a technology for sharing and distributing videos and Odyssey is just one of the websites that uses it. So for example, if Odyssey was trying to censor you like YouTube does to a lot of its creators, you could just go to a different website that also uses library. So that's a pretty cool feature. I've actually been getting quite deep into uh, free and open source software recently. Uh, I have downloaded a lot of uh, free and open source apps uh, on my phone. Uh, I use Fjoid for that. It's a marketplace sort of like Google Play Store, except it doesn't have any of the tracking that Google services do. So if you are on Android, I highly recommend that you get Fjoid. It is pretty nice. And there's the second cow. Come with me. Now, obviously, these cows will be quite useful to me besides just as a source of food because I need a lot of leather. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is what I needed right now. I will need a lot of leather uh, to make an enchantment table uh, that is maxed out with bookshelves. And uh, I will actually also need to find sugarcane for that. I did not consider that. And yeah, we're going to have enchantments. Uh, hopefully by the end of next episode who knows maybe i'll even be able to get some this episode but i am not gonna make any promises about that quite yet all right buddy come on we're almost there and there we go perfect we now have a full-fledged cow farm i do need to breed them though until they start getting entity cramming i will make this area a bit nicer later on oh and it looks like we have some visitors all right, let's go get them. All right, that's dealt with. Now you, give me babies. Yes. So yeah, that's the start. Uh, now I just have to keep reading them. But in the meantime, let me go and get some obsidian. Uh, there is fortunately quite a lot of lava down there. Uh, so we can just convert it into obsidian and mine a bunch of it. There we go. All right, I just need to get probably 14 because I like to have my nether portals fully filled in with the corners and we are going to be able to go to the nether. And we're done. Uh, I actually got a little bit more obsidian than I needed, but that is only a good thing. So let's head back. Actually, I do want to look around for at least one diamond because if I want to build an enchanting table, then I will definitely need a second diamond. While I'm here, I might as well go into this amethyst geode and get some of the amethyst from it. Oh, it's so nice. And it makes the sounds as well. I love it. This was an awesome addition to the game. All right, that is done. Oh, never mind. Not done yet. And now it's done. So I'm just going to continue looking for a diamond. Aha! Finally! Now it's quite dark in here, but I did find this one diamond. Let's see if there's anything around it, but I would be surprised to be honest. No, I just got the one diamond that I was looking for, but hey, I'm not complaining. Just going to go back, going to build the enchantment table, and then we're going to finally go to the nether. All right, let's put all this stuff together. Oh, I do need a book though. I have some leather, but I do not have sugar cane. I completely forgot about that, but I think that will have to wait uh, because going to the nether is the main priority. All right, let's get our flint and steel and let's go and make the portal flame. Did I say portal flame? I meant portal frame. All right, here we go, finally. On episode three, I am going to the nether. Let's go. Here we are. I hope there isn't a ghast around. This is not a bad. Oh, there's a ghast. I do want to get their tears, though. 
There we go. Okay, I guess the ghast is just ignoring me now. Oh, all right. Well, that worked. Perfect. I honestly have no idea why I wasn't attacking. Oh, and look at this. First quartz. Let's get it. Damn, that was quite a lot of quartz. But anyways, uh, my priority is, of course, to look for another fortress. Now, first, let me just write down the coordinates of this here portal. Oh, no. There is a piglin. Nope. Not today, buddy. Not today. Oh, did it drop some gold armor? Perfect. I don't need to worry about them anymore. Oh no! The stupid tiny magma cubes were what killed me. Really? Really? Just the tiny ones? I didn't even know they could damage you! How did they get me? Okay, there's my stuff. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That is dangerous. No thank you. Not today. Okay, got all my stuff. Now, I still need to find the darn nether fortress. Aha! Finally found it! And now, I just need to get over this massive pool of lava to actually get to it. Oh gosh, I really do not want to fall in that pool of lava. I am so close to the fortress now. Come on, just a few more steps. That fortress is in a very weird location. So, oh god, oh, oh, that was a lot of damage. Um, the fortress is in a weird location, and it looks like I'll have to get above it and just dig down. I think it should be over here. There it is. Let's hope that there aren't any wither skeletons waiting for my arrival. And looks like there aren't. Ah, oh, finally. Oh, I just heard a blaze. Hopefully that is from a spawner. And it looks like it is. Alright, first blaze rod. Perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Okay, okay, that's not good, that's not good. Uh, I don't have any food! Oh no, oh no, oh no, this is really bad. This is really bad. Why did I run out of food at the worst time? I can make a mushroom stew though. Could I perhaps find some more food? Because this is really not a good situation for me right now. Yes, food has come to me. That is perfect. That gave me four? Wow, that was a big pig. Oh my god, that one is cooking itself. Look at that. Alright, finally secured this place. I probably want to get uh, a bunch more blaze rods and then I will likely head back because, you know, I don't want to get too greedy. Just want to get what I need and leave. Oh no! My shield is up. Okay, no, I have to leave. I have to leave. My shield is broken. What do I do? Oh, come on. I just need like seven blaze rods. And I'll be out of here. Yes! That's it. Seven blaze rods. I am out of here. I cannot risk dying. Aha. This is where I came from. And I have finished one of my quests today. Alright then. That was quite a success. So let me just unpack all my stuff. I think to finish off this episode, I'm just going to replace the spruce. I mean, sorry, the birch in my house with spruce okay now i am going to fill in the floor i already think that this looks way better honestly because it, the inside of the house was just a bit too bright for my eyes and i think this will look much nicer all right all of the floor is done just need to finish up the ceiling but i already think this looks way better spruce wood in oh ah uh, it looks like i'm out I do need to plant some spruce um, spruce trees. I thought I would have enough spruce wood, but it looks like I don't. Whoa. What? 
Am I am I hallucinating? These weren't here just a second ago. Well, I'm not complaining. Okay, now I got enough spruce wood. Let me finish up the ceiling. And I am done. What do you think? Way better, right? I should probably also replace these pillars with spruce pillars. Bam, bam. So there we go. What do you think? Better, worse? Let me know in the comments if you think the previous version was better than this. But anyways, that's about it for this episode. Did quite a lot of progress. Got some new resources. Uh, got some obsidian and finally built the nether portal down there and actually got all of the blaze rods that I will need for going to the end. So let's actually convert that into blaze powder and there we go. That will definitely be enough. I made the house look a little prettier and of course we have the cow crusher now which I promise I will fill up with cows before the next episode and in the next episode we're actually going to do enchantment. Yes, very exciting. I'd like to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, Vedro Boyev and William H. If you would like to support future videos, then feel free to become a Patreon supporter. They actually get a 48 hour preview and other posts and stuff. So yeah, huge thanks to them and anybody else who decides to sign up. And yeah, once again, feel free to follow me on Odyssey. You can even unsubscribe from YouTube if you feel like it, I won't mind. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.